Mavis! Mavis! Mm. He, he's a bloody like the Bruno bloody Bill. He can't bloody do any DIY. He's bloody useless. Oh, leave him alone. Look in between my eyes, Mavis. What do you see? Ooh. A big nose. <laughs> the big bloody nose. Monobrow. A, <laughs> a brain, Mavis. A brain. Oh, you know I can't see small things. You be the bloody death of me, you will. <laughs> here at Erliston Locks, but we're not here to go up these locks, we're here at the bottom, we've moored up, I've just parked the van behind us, walking down to the boat. So there you are, it is possible to remove your drive plate without taking your gearbox off. Looks original with the painted it and the painted the engine and stuff, surely. It's all dust all over the place. Just going to Alfred's to uh, get some lacquer for my motorbike panels. I've decided to redo the side panels, do some more work to it. Because I haven't sold. Not a dicky bird. I'm also going to Alfred's to get some thread lock for my drive plate uh, don't put those don't put those allen bolts back in without without thread lock on them you know so important hopefully we get a drive plate tomorrow I'm taking my rubbish this is the rubbish for Hurliston locks on the Langollen so it's pretty full in there isn't it Mr. Van's just here, so that's a relief. Gave him a wash, and what have you. Just a list of locks here at the top, there's parking. It's a car park. Fabulous. Weather's horrible, wet and very, very cold. And that's the weather report for today. Today's attire, crappy top. I was working yesterday, covered in oil. No one can see it, I don't care. <laughs> Scruffy jeans. Uh, and uh, muddy boots. The usual attire of a narrowboater. I've been reading online, I was talking to to uh, about the chatter, a lot of people say it is the drive plate, but they also say it could be the gearbox lash. There's a bit there, isn't there? But in gear, there's nothing. In reverse. a bit in reverse my reverse <sighs> neutral there's a little bit <sighs> copy that couldn't it Funny, isn't it? There's no part numbers. Hmm. Luckily, I can still run the engine. Don't need to still get hot water and power. It's so much quieter throughout the boat. With the gearbox attached, all the windows have been rattling. Everything's rattling inside. And that's not attached to the gearbox. It's, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect, it was better than what it was.
I've got my part, I'm here at Pre's Preston Brook branch. We've got two types of we've got two types in, so fingers crossed. That sounded beautiful. Go on, be the club. Got that on camera. Got that on camera as well. Me and Leon decided because we were picking that drive plate up around the corners, Warrington Golf Club. Decided to come out. I don't know why, honestly. It's rock hard, frozen. Every time your ball lands, it goes under the soil. You can't find it. Very, very tough conditions. An absolutely biting wind. I feel warm. I feel nice. Oh, golf, you will not. He's wearing the same clothes he wears on the boat, I know. Tramp. All right, buried. Both balls, here for two. It's a 440 yard par four. Here for two, downhill, into wind. Both buried, both buried, didn't they? And mine was buried completely. A little chip on, beautiful green, to be honest. This is our day, I mean our Leon drive plate, drive plate day and golf day. What do you think to it? Think to the course? Golf day, plate, drive day. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What do you add? Sorry, I got my merds mixed up. <laughs> Very good. This is the fairway. Can you see how high it is? I can't tell the fairway from the rough, it's just so so difficult. That's a big hit. That 180, that beautiful hit. This is my old drive plate. You can see it all bulging out there a lot. Where it's all bunched up from being it's still as good as a spare though. This is the new and improved version, which is a softer uptake, apparently. It's a softer uptake. Um, no movement in that at all, look. And this one, there's loads of movement. And you can see it's not bulging out the sides, like that one was. It's a 10 tooth. 215.9 millimeters, six hole, and it's the part number is RD 22A M60, which is the softer 177 pounds. And I shall put a date on it when I put it in. And I put a date on the outside of the because uh, it gets 12 month warranty with this. Um, I put a date on this and felt. And on, on the gearbox itself when I put it in, so give me an idea of when I bought it and keep the receipt. I'm excited and hope it works. I hope it works. This one's actually also got a little shim behind there. Um, the other one didn't, it's got a circlip and a shim and a washer, makes it a lot tighter. This one didn't, that could be the difference. We are now frozen in. Look at that. Frozen in, frozen solid. There's no going anywhere now in this weather. So I just hope we've got enough water to last us, enough coal, enough food.
time is here to fit my new drive plate. I've got my lock thread. I've cleaned all these up so I can torque them down. Uh, inside it'll paint out. Uh, 25 to 30 newton meters. Just hope I can get that torque wrench inside there. If I, if I can't do that, I can't torque it down. Let's torque it down by hand. Um, they hot today, 16th for the first, 24. 177 quid rip is just to remind myself next time I take it out. Inside. Clean it. And on that side as well, just clean off all the dusty bits. Oh, but all the dusty bits are going into your engine bay. You can't have that now, then it's there. But if that was me, I'd have a hoover running at full speed. Well, I'm just not. Oh, there's all bits in there. Look at them, not. See that? That's all collected. If that was me, I'd have a full hoover at there, would you? Yes. Let's get all the flaky bits. Just make sure these mating faces are clean as well. Inside here, of course. I'll put a bit of grease on that. It's a little vent hole there, look. Down there. It's not easy to film this because, you know, I've got to get my hand in and try and get a stick camera in while I'm working. I look through the camera, which is always a bit weird. Yes, of course. I shall stick the gearbox in gear and I'll twist this bell housing to get that shaft on, you know. I'll work it up for me, I'll take the gearbox off. Would you? Yes. Right, next time I do it, you can come and do it for me. Well, well um, perhaps not take the gearbox. Yeah, thank you. There we are. I think that's clean enough now, are you? It's really hard to see what I'm doing here, to be honest. At A eyesight, I can't see that, it's quite dark. I think I can feel it's clean, that mating surface. I think it's time to put the drive plate in there now, isn't it? Where are your drive plate? I put you somewhere. That should hopefully meet up with those holes. Oh, I've just got to do that, haven't I? I've got to try and marry up with those holes. Oh, that's quite a tight fit, you know. It's quite a tight, it's quite a tight fit. I'm just going to make sure this, I'm going to tighten these down, but I'm not going to thread lock it yet. They, they match up. I'm just going to make sure these holes match up before the majority of them match up. Yeah, they match up though. Tighten this couple of those down and untighten them again, and I'll thread lock them. I'm going to tighten a couple down just to pull it in, make sure it's in there. Bit by bit, bit by bit, one at the bottom. I also cleaned all the threads up, got the Loctite off it, and uh, just it's all bedded in now. Just left one in. Um, I'm going to re Loctite that at the end, and I'm just going to put all the bolts in and torque them down, probably in a star shape. One, two, three, four, crisscross shape, you know, so it beds in evenly. Right. Just going to thread lock each. Before I put them in. So they're all ready, you know. Get them all ready. Let's crack on. I've got to take them all out again because and redo it because torque wrench doesn't fit the socket the one I borrowed this 
is a 5.5. I thought it was a 6. My own fault. I've got to take them all out again. Put some more thread lock in. I'll go back up to my van and get proper so I can torque it down properly. I'm just going to pop up to my van. I'm hoping I've got the right size. If I haven't, I've got the right 5.5 Allen key in a half inch or three quarters. Sorry, or three eighths. Then I'm stuffed. I can't torque it down. I have to just do it by hand. You know. When you've been in the mechanic trade and you've done, and you've done many, many uh, nuts and bolts up, and you just sort of get a feeling for the sort of how tight a thing should be. You know, Eat nut and bolt, six mil, eight mil, ten mils. You get a feeling for it. You know. So uh, I'll just hold the crank with a spanner and tighten it down as much as I feel. It's only myself to blame if it comes loose. Doubt it with thread lock. Be fine. Be fine, Rippers. What a change it makes overnight. Beautiful, isn't it? This is because it's got flow of water here, it's not frozen. This, these Allen bolts are 5.5s. Luckily for me, I had a 5.5 in my little toolbox, but it didn't have enough of reducers. <laughs> so I've just been spending 20, 30 minutes trying to find that reducer to fit this so I could torque it down properly. God, palava! It's one little job of torquing something down. It's... <sighs> anyway, I've got it now. Coffee time. After about an hour, how long that is getting up? Yeah. I think I like it that long. After about an hour of running around, I'm now ready to start again. <sighs> hey? Right, start again. This torque wrench just fits in by a by a millimetre. <sighs> I can't I can't even film it because I can't. I've got to try and hold the crank at the same time. Thirty meters there, and one there. If it gets on, it just goes on look by a smidge. That's thirty. Is now torqued down. I'm going to put some grease on this and then um, try and get it on. A bit of persuasion from me turning that, I can pull it towards me. Wow, this is not easy. Shocking how hard it is. There is a chance that I could flood the whole boat because the boat's in the water and I'm twisting this stern gland trying to get it to move towards me. I think it's coming. Slowly but surely, I think it's coming. There we are. I just hope I'll get lined up now. That's it. I've got to get 
it lined up and hope and pray that it just slops straight in. Ooh, like that, like an asshole. Yay! Like that. Ah. Oh. This is number three, so he should pull it in evenly now. Yeah, there it goes, look. That's better. There we are, let's see it flicking then. There we go, look. Yay! Without taking the gearbox off. You beauty. So it's doable. You ain't got to take it out of the water. But for insurance purposes, I bet if you're a marina, you would do, wouldn't you? Two more to go. Another cock. Another one there. On top of the one I did the other day. It's on life though, isn't it? I've had a look throughout the internet. I can't find one instantly. You have to download a PDF, which is pages and pages and pages of PRM stuff. And I'm just going to do it at 40 Newton meters. So we'll get on with that. If I can get them, feels about right. That does 40. No, it feels too much actually. No, it's too much. I'll stick with 30. Too much. It felt like too much. You just know when it's if it's going to snap or not. That's more like it. That's it. Yeah. Slacking that off a little bit because that felt just too tight. Redo it. Right, on the bottom two, you can't get a torque wrench on them anyway. It's just the heads. The head is too thick to get the socket on and get a ratchet on top. I just barely get that on. So the bottom two are not torqued up, but I've done it tight enough. Right, cable's back on. Tighten the uh, stuffing gland up. What I, I do, I tighten it up to it's tight, tightish. I spin the prop till it's stiff, and I go back quarter of a turn until it feels um, a slight resistance, and that's why I adjust it for me. I just pull back, and it clips over your cable, and it's that's it. It's in place. Just a great idea. Just getting it into problem. Let's turn you off.
coal mines here. I'm gonna get some diesel and some gas and some coal. Beautiful. You get that number. There we go. That's it. All done. Coals, three bags, fourteen pound each. Fourteen pound eighty each. This gearbox now on tick over. Chatter, I think is gone. No more chatter. Oh, it's so smooth, even on the lowest revs. Oh my, what a relief. Fantastic. Woohoo!